you guys uh, know what they call all those fish in your language? Do you guys Toro. Know? You got one, one, two, no, two, 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 and the jack, jack fish is the uh, kinoje. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. And the white fish is the mitik. Yeah. Yeah. Try tying it. Okay. I showed you. Okay. Four, four medicines in here. <laughs> yeah. What is this? Fever. Fever. Well, a little bit. Hey? Sage. Sage, yeah. Sage. 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 But the, the challenge with the, uh, with the vision quest, it goes, it goes beyond uh, your dreams. It, it, it takes you to a real life situation where uh, your, best, your best laid plans and what you hope for, the actual opposite will happen. And uh, you'll find yourself in a situation where you have no control over anything in, er, around you. You may feel when you go in that, that you're strong. You know, a young man could feel strong going in. And he might think that he can take care of himself when he's out there, but what happens is that you lose all of that and you become a little boy or you become a little girl. And you're always thinking, what am I going to do with myself? Where, where's my life going to take me? How do I challenge myself? What are the limits of my physical ability? Well, I, I suggest you vision quest. It's not about religion. It's about being Anishinaabe. And we're all Anishinaabe in this tent here. And that's just what we do. You go out and you figure out what it is that you need to experience and you experience it. And you come out with humility. You come out and you recognize the people that you love and the people that care for you. You also learn a little bit about food because you're starving. It was, uh, it was very, very difficult, you know. <clears throat> but it was worth it. You want to live in a good way. That's why you do these things. You got to remind yourself. sure that we keep the cows away from the edge of the water. So do you guys think that you could put a bunch of grass onto our field or pass them out? I will explain that. I got a volunteer to do my rain. And you spray as much as you can.
hold that in the water and then let me know. Uh, for the new group, my name is Cheyenne McKay. I work with SEER, the Center for Indigenous Environmental Resources, my research associate, and I'm originally from Pine Creek. So it's really nice to come here and uh, do these activities with you guys. trying to overpower the waves in the, in the boat. So it's quite, we've been on the lake how many years? This is what all our lives, eh? Yeah. Winter and summer, and this is a, just as dangerous a lake as any lake, Lake Winnipeg or even in the ocean. Your grandfathers used to travel up and down this lake with uh, smaller boats than this, this uh, canoes and small wooden oh, boats that they made. Oh. That's how they traveled here back and forth trapping and and fishing. You guys will remember where you put your net so yeah. you can come back and find it. Yeah, but you guys find find this net tomorrow. Yeah. guys have a, a good resource area so we've got to try and take care of it so said to get back by before three o'clock because you've got to be finished at the school at three I hope you know this ain't as hype as it's gonna be. 